you to Casey Fangirl Shine. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, so I apologize because this isn't a full setup um, straight away, just want to quickly say that, um, because I was in the middle of doing an assignment, but then the Moon Knight trailer finally dropped, and I was so shocked to see that on Twitter it was announced that it's coming out on March 30th. I thought we were going to get this later in the year. I didn't expect this show to drop so early in the year, so I'm really excited for this show. I will admit, I don't know too much about Moon Knight, only that he's connected to um, Blade. Um, other than that, I don't know too much about him. And in all honesty, we are entering a phase of the Marvel Universe where I don't know a lot about the heroes and the anti-heroes who are coming into the story. Um, apart from like, for example, like Shang-Chi. But other than that, I don't know anything about Moon Knight. <laughs> so this is sort of a, like, again, a grey area that I don't really know about. So I'm excited to be exploring this and in all honesty, fully reacting to this properly without knowing anything about him. Even when the show comes out, I pro I'm not going to actually look anything up. Like, I'm excited to learn all about it from the show. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into it because already, it's already hit 1 million views on this trailer. Like, I'm literally looking at it right now and I'm like, what the heck? So let's jump straight into it. But before that, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV show trailers, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh Jesus. Catch you. You're bloody useless. Huh. Steven. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. That woman looks so evil. Oh! I'm oh. Thank you. Lost the contact lens. I'll hit it. Thanks. <laughs> Why did you call me Mark? It must be very difficult. Oh, Ethan! In your head. This chaos is you. Embrace the chaos. Oh, oh my god, that transition though. Holy shit, that was so tense. <laughs> that was so good. Um, it's making me excited because again, this is something I don't know a lot about. And like, yeah, this looks so good. Now, I know that there is a lot of hype over Moon Knight. I know there's a big fan base behind him too. Um, so I'm guessing a lot of people are very excited for this. So seeing this immediately, we can see that this character is not okay. <laughs> okay, so I was looking again at Ethan Hawke's character. I'm pretty sure that's the actor's name. But um, his name is Arthur Harrow. I have no idea who that is. Um, and then there's another character, because I was watching it with the, um, with the subtitles on. And there's another character, the female voice that we heard was Layla. So yeah, these are the characters that I have no idea about. But... I will say that I am so excited about this show. Again, like I was saying before I analyzed this video again, like by watching it on my own, um, it seems like Steven is just very not okay. Like obviously he's having sleeping problems um, and I'm guessing he sleepwalks, which is why he changed himself to the bed. But I guess there's more to him that who, well, I guess people who don't know the character will probably find out when they watch the show, which, that being me. Either way, I'm excited to see, like, this, his story, like, play out. Because I've always loved the Moon Knight suit. Like, I have seen this character around, like, images of him, but I'm, I just never knew who he was. I thought, like, maybe he's a villain or an anti-hero sort of character. So I'm guessing we're gonna find out more when the show comes out, and I'm super excited for this. It looks... 
very unique compared to the other shows. Uh, it seems very much like in the shadows. It's giving me very much like Daredevil feels. I know a lot of people like hate it when people are comparing the new Disney shows to what Daredevil was, but I'm feeling like this is a very much like a Daredevil vibe. Um, sort of like, not an anti-hero, but he, he, um, you don't know which side he's gonna go on, so I sort of like that, um, and I love characters like that. Um, and already, like, I'm in love with the suit. Oscar Isaac as well, he's such an incredible actor, so I know he's gonna be able to pull it off. And yeah, I'm excited to see what comes of this show, because I hope that if it does go well, and if it does go, um... Because I'm not sure if it's going to be really violent or it's going to be like in the sense of like a really dark show. But I hope that it's it opens that door for Disney to do more stuff like this. Obviously because Blade, that movie, is coming very soon. Not sure when. Like either next year or the or maybe this year. I'm not really sure. But whenever it does come out, I hope it reaches that level of like intensity. Um... So yeah, I'm super excited for this, and yeah, leave in the comments as well if you want to leave little details about Moon Knight. Not too many spoilers though, because obviously I do want to watch the show sort of like without too many spoilers, and obviously go in sort of like fresh and not knowing too much. But if you want to leave details down and like your favourite things about the character, you're more than welcome to. So thank you guys so much for watching this, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the trailer for Moon Knight. Obviously there weren't too many details about where the story is sort of going, obviously it is as an origin story for Steven as Moon Knight um, and to accept the chaos which is awesome um, but I like that they didn't give too much away especially because you know there is again there's a fandom for it but then there's also an audience who are probably coming in and not knowing what's going on so I like that it's not given too much it's just showing that He's a little bit unhinged, and you know, he's seeing stuff in the museum. It sort of reminds me of Night of the Museum a little bit, but on a very different level. And then just seeing all these sort of like night terrors in the museum. I love it. And yeah, like I'm a huge history geek as well. And so like seeing all the stuff about Egypt and stuff, I was like, oh my god, I love it. But yeah, I'm so, so excited for this show, and I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us. Um, I'm guessing this is going to start after Boba Fett finishes, so that's like perfect, love that. Um, because I know a lot of people are sort of worried that there's too much on the agenda for 2022, but I, I sort of think it's good because then we can see sort of the different like areas and flavours that they have in each show that are very different from one another. So I'm super excited for this year and what Disney, Marvel and obviously Star Wars has in store for all of us because I am I think it's going to be a great couple of shows and great movies and great content for this year so I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bingo out. Woo!